guys, my name is Juliana Palencia, aka Jujubee, and welcome to my channel. Today's video will be all about, can you guess? Can you tell the difference? I took my nose ring off. <laughs> Literally no one has noticed on Instagram or YouTube. I'm highly disappointed. But this video isn't about that. It's about my new haircut. Um, so yeah, I got my hair cut now four days ago so it's one of those things that i have been debating for a while if you guys follow me or if you guys have just so happened to come across that video on youtube i got my hair cut last february 2017 nine inches were cut off the like bottom of my hair and my hair was so much shorter it was very uneven I wasn't really comfortable with my hair anymore. So the past year, I've been growing my hair out. And I finally decided to get it cut. So I went to Mono's hair. She is a professional stylist who has curly hair herself. And she also is known to do like curly haircuts and like real bomb curly haircuts. You guys probably know I was really afraid to go to a stylist again because my last experience did not go well. And a lot of you guys may think like, oh, but your hair looked fine on Instagram, your hair looked fine on YouTube. My hair looked fine, but I was actually like having a lot of problems with my hair. The unevenness was just becoming a lot to deal with, a lot to style. My hair got longer, but overall the health of my hair just didn't look the same. I had stringy pieces that hung down. So I do still have some longer layers, but they're not like nine inches longer anymore. Um, this section here is the only section that's like way longer than the rest. The majority of it is like a little bit longer. So every single time that I wash my hair, for me at least, it's normal to get a few broken strands off in the shower. A couple of strands that are shorter than like, you know, the long strands with the roots. But it was to the point where my hair was literally like 30 plus strands of broken strands every time I showered. And it was because I developed a lot of split ends after that cut. Parts of my hair weren't cut at all in the last cut. Some parts of my hair hadn't been trimmed in two years. So I was way overdue for a trim and it was just time for a fresh start because I felt like I was holding on to a cut that I didn't really like because I wanted to keep the length but keeping that length was kind of holding on to the last haircut so I just decided to get it cut. I went to Mono's hair. I'm in DC and she's based in New York. A lot of you were like, how could you trust another hairstylist? I don't want to put my hair in the wrong hands. And I know the consequences of not having a good haircut. I didn't have any personal recommendations for hairstylists around my area. Um, and if you guys know Lyasia, she's one of my friends and she spoke very highly of Mono's hair. Her hair is very similar to mine. I had a lot of personal recommendations and people who were from New York and not a single person said anything about it. Everyone has something good to say. So that was a good sign on top of the personal recommendations. My hair was so uneven guys that I didn't even know where to start where when it came to trimming my hair there were like this much of a length difference and it was like that all throughout my hair so before that haircut I never went to a hair stylist. I always trimmed my own hair but I knew that I just didn't have the ability to trim my own hair without probably making my hair look really bad and I wanted a good shape I wanted a haircut where I felt comfortable with it so I went to Mono's hair the haircut was not recorded I was just a regular customer it wasn't like a collab so when I showed up I had plans on getting my hair blown out and cut 
um, because the last thing I wanted was another dry curly cut but actually she had told me that she recommend me to get my hair cut wet because I wear my hair curly most of the time I wasn't like so strong on getting it blown out I wasn't sure what she would be most comfortable with so I figured blown out like will be a lot easier to see it stretched out but she actually re recommended my hair to be wet so we went with wetting my hair. She was very, very knowledgeable. She talked me through the process. I told her um, how I wanted my hair cut. Um, I like a blunt cut. I didn't want it on curly hair, but I wanted my hair to be all one length because I had pieces that were everywhere. <laughs> um, so I wanted my hair to be all one length. So the haircut that I got is called a wide set triangle with a slight front fringe. So my hair is actually all even up until pretty much this portion here. I know it may not look one length curly, but the top actually comes down here and the bottom comes down here. So pretty much it's all one length up until this fringe bang portion here, which is exactly what I wanted. This bottom portion was virtually cut the same length, but as it went up, I had a lot of layers that hung over the bottom portion that came about right here. So those were cut off to even my hair out. As it's dry and curly, you can see that it look a little bit more layered. It doesn't look one length curly um, because my hair shrinks up and it's different textures throughout. So it ended up looking layered, which I actually really, really like a lot. guys I feel so confident with this haircut like this is what a haircut is about I just feel so good and feel like very confident in my hair um, before I got the haircut my hair could not hold a style for more than one or two days like by day two it would look really bad especially in the last few months it had no definition the detangling process was just like torture um, my hair could not hold a style and it couldn't even hold a wash and go day one it would look so popping but day two it just looked like <laughs> so um this is day three hair after the haircut and my hair looks like how it used to look on day one like my curls are still defined i don't have any frizz my ends feel so healthy i literally had like three strands last time i washed my hair was before it was literally like 30 40 small strands just breaking off so my hair health has improved so much and i'm just really really happy i feel just like brand new like i can actually start a lot of the things that i wanted to do last year um because i'm actually comfortable with my hair i'm like loving my hair but i'm just really really happy and i want to say thank you so much to mono's hair for you know getting my hair right and she's very very knowledgeable guys so she actually offers consultations and i highly recommend for you to go to her if you have questions about your type of hair and like products and all of that stuff or you're newly natural or you're having issues with your hair i highly recommend you to book a, that consultation with her because she is extremely knowledgeable not just because she has curly hair but she actually knows like the science and chemistry and all of that stuff behind it so i definitely recommend to book that consultation with her and also i can now personally recommend her for a haircut as well um if i have a lot of questions about this haircut or anything about my hair that i didn't address in this video i'll make another video about so guys don't forget to comment your questions down below if i didn't address it and also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching bye